Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'll be walking you through how you can create a header for your app or website with a blurred background image using only HTML and CSS. No Photoshop needed. Blurred background images are a great way to make your content stand out and by achieving this effect dynamically using the CSS blur filter, we can easily swap out new images without needing to manually edit them one by one. This is especially useful if your app has user uploaded images and you want to keep a consistent visual style. So let's jump into it. Okay, so to start off, I need to create the structure of my header. So I'm going to create a header element. And then within that, I want to have an image that will be the avatar. So I'm going to add an image and we'll be using Phil Murray for this. So Murray and then we'll say 256 by 256 okay and then I'll style that later and then I also want a title so I'll add a span here we'll say that give that a class of header title and I also want to add an extra div here and that will be our background or blurred background and I'll explain to you in a minute why I'm at adding an extra div for a background for a background rather than applying it directly to the header element itself let me just clean this up a bit and i'm going to call this blurred header okay so let's start styling this out a little bit so my header want to give it a background of green just for now because I want it to stand out and since this hasn't removed the uh, margins from the page let me go ahead and do that as well there we go and then I also want to give it a height of 400 pixels right and why don't we center our elements as well yep and also want to add some padding So that my padding is isn't added in addition to my height I want to set the box sizing to border box on everything and that will calculate the padding uh, combined with the height okay so this is looking good so far now I want to demonstrate why I have an extra div here for my background so let me go ahead and add a background image and let me grab a background image real quick um, I like this one, 1036. 1036. 
and then we need to make this bigger. Make it 12, we'll make it 1600 by 800. Okay. Now, watch what happens when I blur this. Okay, see that, how this blur here, we have this white edge here. Our blurred image isn't stretching to the edge. And so to compensate for that, we need to apply our background image to an element within this header container and then we need to kind of stretch it like a canvas so let's remove this for now let's also remove this blur filter okay so I'm going to create a class for my blurred BG And I want to give this the background image. Huh, what's going on here? Ah, and in addition to that, I need to set the position of my header container to relative, and then the position of my blurred background image to absolute. And then I also need to set the top to zero, the left to zero, and my Z index to one. No. Oh. And I forgot a very important part. I need to set my width to 100% and my height to 400 pixels. Okay, so now we see that our what's supposed to be our background image is actually covering up our content. Let me give this some text. So to fix that, I want to add a, another class here to, let me add it up here actually. So for blurred header, any child that is not dot blurred bg, the Z index will be two and position will be relative. And there we go. Okay. So our content is back on top. So anything, any child element that we add to this will be on top of our background. But now we need to add our blur effect. And it will become very obvious why we're doing this the way that we're doing in a second. So let's add WebKit filter 
because I'm using Chrome here. We'll say blur and six pixels. Oops. And now it's even more obvious. See this green bleeding through here? So now we have to stretch this background image div like it's a canvas uh, wrapped around a frame. So to do that, we'll add calc to our width. And to compensate for the pixels lost from the blur, we'll say 100% plus 16 pixels. And you see it's fixed over here, but it's still not fixed over here. So we need to recenter it. So for our top or for our left, we'll do half of that 16. So we'll say minus 8 pixels. And now our background is centered. So let's do the same thing for the height. Calc. 400 pixels plus 16 pixels and then for our top will also be negative 8 pixels so that's better but you'll see that our image blur is bleeding past the edge of our header container so to fix that we just need to add overflow hidden to our container and there we go we got our sharp edge so this is looking good uh, just a couple minor styling changes um, going to add instead of this being a span I'm going to make this a paragraph okay I want to change the font family to Helvetica Arial Sans Serif K okay. and then I want to stylize my header title going to make this I will say 18 pixels. No. Maybe 24. Yep. And we'll transform this to uppercase. Okay. And color will be semi-transparent black and I also want to kind of I want to make my um, avatar rounder I want to shrink it down so Third header. percent to make it a circle okay now I would like to vertically center this so okay we'll make this display flex 
justify content center flex direction will be row no column and then There we go. Okay, now we got everything centered. Alright guys, that about wraps up what I wanted to cover in this video. Please let me know if you found it useful or if you have any questions in the comment section. Also make sure that you subscribe as I'll be putting out more content regularly. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.